One, two, three, four. I love concrete. Never had a loan. Everything I had wound up in pawn. It's all gone, gone, gone. Go, gone, gone, yeah, gone, gone, gone. It's all gone. Yeah, it's gone all right. The Palladium, gone. Now an NYU building and a Trader Joe's. Coney Island High, gone. Now condos, of course. Brownies, gone. Now a yuppie bar. Max's Kansas City, gone. Now a panini joint. Fillmore East, long gone. Now an NYU building in a bank. Hello, I'm Vincent Void, native New Yorker, rock and roller, and the attempted preservationist of whatever coolness is left in New York City at this point. I just mentioned some of the most famous rock clubs in New York City history and what became of them. New York City was once the mecca of cool. You think New York City is cool these days? Wrong. New York City these days is nothing but a disnified wait on a line for brunch amusement park for kids from Toledo riding into town on daddy's gold card who's gonna jack up your rent. What are we talking about here? Let's take a little walk around and see if we can find some cool rock clubs. Kinda like my version of a video PSA. Welcome to CBGB's, the greatest rock club that ever existed. Home of the Ramones, Talking Heads, Television, Patti Smith. Now, I know what you're saying. Vince, this doesn't look like a rock club. Well, ding, 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 you're correct. CB's closed back in 2006. You want rock and roll, no dice. You want a $20 girly drink while a bad hybrid of hip hop pop plays in the background? You came to the right place. By the way, accompanying me today on the journey is my cameraman, Mikey. Come out from behind the camera, Mikey, and let the people see you. Well, say something, Mikey. Mm. Okay, let's try this again. So, Mikey, what do you think about the lack of rock clubs in New York City these days? It's not good. It's not good, huh? Okay, back behind the camera, Mikey. Well, uh, Brooklyn has a lot Excuse of... Excuse me? Did you just mention the B word to me? So, Mikey, you think we should have to cross a body of water and swim through a bearded populace drinking organic beer to find a cool rock club? No. Back behind the camera, Mikey. Just to prove it wasn't a fluke, I'm going to take you to some other former rock venues and show you what became of them. Right behind me here is the site of the former bottom line. This is where Lou Reed recorded Take No Prisoners and where Bruce Springsteen held court in his pre-born The Run days. It's now an NYU building. The 
This is the former Mercer Arts Complex. This is where the New York Dolls made their bones back in the day. It's now an NYU building. Now, I know what you're saying. Vince, there's something wrong with my hearing. This is the fourth time you said NYU took over a former rock venue. Let me assure you that your hearing is fine. Let me also assure you that the thing which has destroyed downtown New York City culture the most can be revealed in three words. N. Why you? Why have cool downtown culture when you can erect an educational palace for the children of those parents who can spend six figures a year so their little angels can take courses like knitting as a feminist statement? Did you press record this time, Mikey? No. Okay, well, let's go on to our next spot. Oh, uh, hey guys, excuse me, sorry to interrupt. But you know, campus security's cracking down on all non-NYU films being shot here. Just to give you a heads up, you don't want to get busted by the NYU PD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Professor Mary Jenkins, adjunct at the Bookbinding and Gender Studies Department here at NYU. Oh yeah? Well, hi. I'm Vincent Void, head of the I Don't Like NYU Department. Did you know that this was Mercer Arts back here? When I think of Johnny Thunder's rocking out here back in the day, it almost makes me want to smile. When I think about the mountain of educational mediocrity it is today, it makes me want to puke. Now, what do you think about that? You know, that's an interesting thesis, Mr. Void. It doesn't really hold up to scrutiny. You see, Mercer Arts collapsed back in 1973. You know, you're the worst kind of New Yorker. You reap the benefits of reduced crime and cleaner streets and all the rest. Yet you mourn for a New York you never even really experienced yourself. You want to go for a beer or something? Oh, sorry. I'm having brunch in Brooklyn with some friends who just moved here from Toledo. Ciao. What a nice lady. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little journey today, and I know you learned something. Say something, Mikey. Something, Mikey. Back behind the camera, Mikey. Until next time. One, two, three, four. to get a parenthetic I'm just trying to keep it authentic I am the one that keeps it authentic